Welcome back to the channel, Manny B Investing MBI. And today we're going to be talking about the pair of BIS and any swap partnership. And by partnership, uh, we'll take a look at the video that I uploaded on the pair of BIS Telegram live chat, uh, the second live chat that occurred uh, on 11 4 2021. Uh, I did the recording here. You can see that on the uh, channel. If it's also in the PBX playlist. Make sure that you're following that and have that saved so you can keep up with what's going on on the network. But let me play this for you. Hopefully it's uh, it's legible here. Let's see. But there is actually something that we're going to be announcing very soon. And uh, we're going to be announcing it today. And um, for anyone who is familiar with AnySwap, uh, we actually just got listed on AnySwap. Um, that's something that just kind of you know, took place they decided to list us. And um, so we're gonna be making that announcement soon. So it's actually a really cool platform um, being that it's gonna be uh, cross bridge. So essentially it's gonna be linking, um, you know, uh, Ethereum, Arbitrum and Polygon. So um, that's gonna be one of the, you know, announcements that we're gonna be making today. So you guys get a little sneak preview of, of that. So uh, that's good, pretty exciting. So. All right, so as you see, Wilson, during the live call, after taking some questions, decided to release that information to the Telegram group early. So another reason why you should be in the Telegram, you're going to get news before it hits the uh, their other public uh, social media site. So um, just for your own personal knowledge, or if you're trading, you know, hey, maybe I should grab some real quick, or maybe I should sell some. Uh, not financial advice, but just having that head start on information uh, can be used and utilized in real life for your own personal gain. But let's take a look here. Uh, this is the announcement that what they posted on their Twitter later on after that call had taken place, like a few hours later. Uh, nobody talked about it, so I, uh, let's go take out the let's take a look at the tweet today. Um, let's see what's what the people are talking about. Let's go PBX starting its engines. Great pump PBX when Binance. Oh my gosh, always with the Binance. Uh, PBX gang, let's go. Let's go PBX price targets, PBX to a dollar. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. And we've got some more here. Oh, it looks like spam, maybe. So, why are people happy? What does this mean? Did this affect the price? What is any swap? Well, I'll do a standalone video on any swap uh, after this one. But in this video, we're just talking about the partnership, the, the whys and, you know, the why. So Paribus is getting ready to launch their MVP according to their roadmap and discussion that took place in the last live call on the 4th. What does that mean? Okay, so an ERC-20 token on Ethereum mainnet, uh, which is what Paribus is, PBX, you are on the mainnet, so you have the incredible high fees due to the lack of scaling that Ethereum uh, gives us. So in order to solve that problem and also be able to develop on Ethereum mainnet without costing yourself millions and millions and millions of dollars, you move to a second layer scaler. So a scaled solution for Ethereum mainnet would be uh, Polygon. Um, they allow you to go off of the mainnet, use Polygon, and use Polygon's blockchain of validators to develop using an EVM, which is an Ethereum virtual machine. So essentially, it just makes it affordable for a project to develop on Ethereum. You use a virtual machine, you move it to another layer where you don't have to pay those incredibly high gas fees. So you're no longer using Ethereum's mainnet's um, miners to validate transactions. They charge a hefty fee to validate transactions. Matic does not charge a lot of money. Um, Arbitrum, same deal. Arbitrum is similar to Polygon in the way that they are a layer two scaling solution for Ethereum. They do their, their validating a little bit different. So Polygon is a coin it's its own blockchain it's just a layer two uh any swap um is a bridge that allows you to take the ethereum tokens and move them to these other layers arbitrum 
allows you to do the same thing, but Arbitrum does not have its own validators. So it uses the Ethereum validators, but what it does is, is it collects on layer two all of the transactions and it does its thing, it does its transactions. And then what it does is after like a week, it takes all the transactions and it goes to Ethereum and says, hey, validate these transactions all at one time. So it's like more efficient, but the problem is it takes like a week or two to validate a transaction on uh, Arbitrum. So what this would look like for an end user is if you were using, say you're using Arbitrum, right? Say, you know, Paribus launched the MVP, you're, you're using it to stake and let's say they allow you to do unbonded staking where you can stake your tokens and remove them at any time and take your rewards and walk away. I don't believe they're going to offer that. Um, this is just for the sake of this, uh, this experiment or, you know, this example. So you say you mine or, or not mine, but say you stake 50,000 tokens, right? And they give you a good percentage and you are able to, at the end of the week, you ended up with 5,000 PBX tokens as a reward. So you go, all right, cool. I want to do some automation. I want to program or do some DeFi where I stake my Paribus and all of the rewards I get, I'm going to take those rewards. I'm going to convert them to um, Cardano or ADA or Ethereum. Okay, that's cool. So you're going to do this systematically every week, every time you get your rewards, just so you're going to basically turn it into a weekly paycheck for yourself. So you take that money or you take those tokens and you go, okay, I'm going to buy ADA with it every week. <clears throat> so when you go, you get your rewards, you go to transfer that, that, uh, that Paribus back to Ethereum. Then you swap it for ADA on a, an exchange, whether that be like any swap, if you can, or Uniswap, or maybe you just do it manually and you send it to KuCoin and then you sell it and then you buy ADA with it. Then you send your ADA to your wallet. Um, you can do that. But the problem is if you're on Arbitrum, the way that the validation works is you can't move it for a week. So you go to do your withdrawal. It's going to take a week for you to get those tokens. So in a week's time, a lot of stuff can happen. The price could change drastically. I mean, in a week's time, we went from sub one penny to almost four pennies. So a lot of things can happen between that time. So that's why, um, you really need to think and consider uh, your setup before going into this MVP. When that, when that information about the MVP comes out, as far as the tiers, the staking percentage, uh, how it's going to work, you need to be ready. You need to be thinking, what is my plan? Am I going to be staking all of my tokens? Am I going to be staking some of them? If they do unbonded staking, am I going to utilize that? Uh, if they do you know, a one month lockup, a three month lockup and a year lockup, which one am I going to utilize, you know, based on what percentages they give us. So you really need to put that in your head, start thinking about that, what your play is going to be and how many tokens you're going to need, because we don't know yet. They may say the minimum requirement for this staking on the MVP is going to be uh, 200,000 tokens. So you need to be prepared or ready to make up that difference if that's the case. Maybe their maybe their limits are like Cody's where it's like you need 25 for this tier, you need um, 50 for this tier, and then anything over 100,000 tokens is this tier, and this is what you get. We have no, no idea what they're planning. Uh, I've been looking, reading, hanging out in Telegram on all of the calls. I've got nothing. I've got no guesses at what they're planning on doing. I would say um, I wouldn't I would be shocked if they deviated far from Cody. It would shock me if they did. Um, but again, that's based on nothing. It's based on just what I believe. And I could be 100 percent wrong. Um, but just know that there are going to be tiers. They're going to have restrictions. That is going to be a thing. So there, there's going to be too few. I mean, you might have, you might be incredibly bullish on Paribus, but you, you could run into a problem where you just do not have enough tokens to participate. And that's what happened with me and Cody. I was, I was doing my job and accumulating tokens at the rate that I believe was good. And I come to find out that I was incredibly short 
And to make up that difference was going to cost a lot of USD. It was going to cost a ton of fiat for me to make up that difference. I said, I'm not going to make up that difference. And that's why I ended up started. I just started trading Cody instead of trying to participate in DeFi with Paribus. I'm doing it differently. I am accumulating a bunch more. Um, and I believe that I'll have enough to be able to participate. Um, I'd be really, really sad if I didn't, uh, depending on how short I fall. If I do fall short, uh, I'm going to do, try my best to just keep a bunch of fiat available so I can make up that difference if I need to, but please, please just keep these thoughts in your mind. Um, I'm going to do a video on a more detailed video on any swap, um, like what it is and all that good stuff. But this is just touching on the, the announcement that any swap is going to list Paribus, which is going to allow you to send your Paribus ERC-20 tokens to other networks like Polygon and Arbitrum. So this tool is going to be necessary in order to use uh, the MVP that's coming out on Arbitrum. This bridge will allow you to send your tokens, convert them to Arbitron, uh, Arbitrum so that you can use it with the Paribus application that goes live, hopefully in the next 30 days. So again if you want to keep up with all of this motion and my thoughts and feelings on all of this stuff uh yeah just make sure you hit the subscribe button like the channel share the video if you found value in it and we'll see you on the next one